Hello, JR. Okay. Uh, now, I hear people talking about the atheist experience yes. on this local channel. Okay, now, uh, what I'm disagreeing with is uh, some of the views and some of the things that you say about uh, humanity and how humans were created. Um, you mean something I said today or something I've said on a previous episode? I'm talking about uh, the views and the ways that you uh, spread this illogical information to people okay. on the air. Okay. Uh, uh, now, go on. My question is: Okay, how does how do humans exist? Um, they exist uh, because of a basically unbroken chain of life going back about uh, two or three billion years. Uh, before that, they exist because of a process known as abiogenesis, about which there are uh, many theories. And before that, uh, it's all physics. So you're saying this starts with some type of atom or nucleus or something up in the outer space region? that exploded in... Well, no, it, it wasn't an atom. It was a super dense concentration of matter, but, you know, that's a quibble. Okay. Where did this... Ma who... How was this matter created? Um, there... Uh, that is unknown at this time, basically. How do you think that atom was... Cre or that point was created? Okay. Now, I believe that it... Okay, there's a cause and effect for everything. Okay, how do you, how do you, what do you believe the cause was? Okay, it would have to be a higher power. Okay, and how did this higher power that. come to exist? How did the higher power come to exist? Right, things don't come from nothing, right? Just like human beings. Okay, so, so this higher power presumably didn't just uh, spring into existence, right? Okay, well, something had to spring this, whatever you're talking about, that began all of life into existence. Okay, so was there, like, a previous, an even higher power that created the higher power? Okay, the higher power is, that's it. It's the beginning Oh, so you believe that there is a thing out there that could just have have come into existence without a cause? Yeah, I believe that. Okay, then why not say all that of life has to start somewhere? Okay, but God didn't have to start somewhere. Okay, now this there's this other theory uh, about now, uh, that was the question. Did God evolve in from monkeys and stuff you, like that? Can All you that answer the question ludicrous. first? <clears throat> okay. Are you, are you? Can you answer the question? Okay. What question? Uh, are you saying that God did not have to come from somewhere? Well, he did not have to come from somewhere because he Why not? is the creator. So. I thought you just said that everything has to have a cause. Okay, but I'm disagreeing with the reason you say that humans in life exist. Okay, but I'm saying, uh, do you have any existence that this supernatural thing with no cause actually exists? How does the supernatural cause exist? Well, yeah, I mean, well, actually, I asked, do you have any evidence that it does exist? Okay, now, if you would go out, when you go outside, look at the clouds, look at the trees, look at the birds, then ask yourself, 
how does all this exist? Well, according to you, it came from a supernatural thing that uh, that has no physical representation, uh, which which ha which needed no cause to exist. Okay. Well, I don't believe all of that came to <coughs> in existence by. This. Okay, and I don't Whatever believe. Whatever you said. I don't believe that your God ever came into existence. Well, I have sympathy for you, sir. After you okay. pass away, well, I appreciate you have to, your sympathy. You will reap what you're sowing. Okay, okay, so now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen, sir, Jeff D. After sir, you uh, pass me, away sir, uh, and leave. Would this. you please apologize okay. for that insult? I have sympathy Would for you, you please apologize uh, for the insult? Russell was asking you very calmly, very politely, to explain your position, right? There seemed to be a contradiction. You said everything had to have a cause, but your God didn't have to have a cause. And when you couldn't answer his question, you started coming at us with these, yes, with these, the with these threats with these threats that if we don't believe like you, something bad is going to happen to us after we die. And I'm sorry, that's not an argument. That does not prove your point. Because, you know, if your God doesn't exist and his heaven doesn't exist, nothing bad is going to happen to us after we die, sir. You need to prove that your God exists first. Otherwise, you're just threatening us with an imaginary thing that you think is going to happen uh, I'm telling it like it, like it is what? Uh, after 90 years the human lifespan is how long? an average of 80 years? what about it? okay now you're not going to walk this earth uh, forever that's probably true so what? so you have mm. to go back <coughs> to where you started before your life began you have to go back I do? why? What are you talking so about? what created you? You have to go I, back to I that. I have parents. And I have parents your, and there was biology. And what else do you need to know? What else do I need to know? I don't know. What, do, you, do you tell me? Okay, why is there this logic about man evolving from animals <clears throat> and insects? You mean the theory of evolution? Why is there the theory of evolution? Okay. It's because some stand, scientists paid attention to what was that actually what going on instead of just reading an ancient holy book and taking it as given that what some uh, ancient mystics in the Middle East wrote down. Okay, well, something or somebody or some power had to create that even. What are you talking about? Huh? Okay, everything. Did something had to create the theory I'm of evolution? Saying there's a cause the guy's name was Charles Darwin. Everything. Huh? There's a reason everything exists. Except for your out. God. So I'm sorry, you've got, a, you've got this circular... No, it's not, it's not a circular <laughs> argument. It's called special pleading. It's a logical fallacy. You're saying everything has to have an, a cause, except yes. for your God. And that that's will cheating, always be and my And that cry. makes your argument not work. That will always plus, be my cry. Plus, I'm still, I'd still like to get back to this... To this the word threat, poison I'd like there. to get back to this threat of yours that if we don't believe like you do, something bad's going to happen to us after we die. If Where do you get the off truth. threatening us that something bad is going to happen to I'm us after only we die? You the truth, How sir. dare you? Can you prove it? You're in denial. Sir. Can you prove it? I'm not in denial. I'm asking you for proof. The proof is right outside the building. Clouds? That's the best you can do. Right no, outside sorry, that sorry, office here. Sorry, there's other scientists that study things like that. Yeah, Russell, he's, he's okay. done. Thanks, thanks right. for your call, sir. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Good grief. Clouds. <laughs> because there's clouds, he can get away with calling our show and insulting us by telling us bad, we deserve for bad things to happen to us after we're dead.